What's going on everyone? My name is Mitch Robs and today we're going to be talking about some new changes in Fortnite Save the World. I shouldn't necessarily say new changes because it's been out for around two months at this point of the recording, but we're going to be talking about the crowd control changes and how they're really unintuitive for the player. And we're going to be going over how it works, the best traps to use with it, a little bit of strategy on how you can kind of set up your tunnels and uh, things to think about while you're doing like trying to take into account crowd control because this really is kind of a hidden mechanic unless you follow the home base status reports religiously you would never know about this mechanic and genuinely so it's kind of a hard thing for newer players so if you guys like this kind of content leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to my channel as well as consider commenting down below what other topics you guys would like to cover um, I really hope you guys enjoy this type of content, it's really fun for me to make. To start this video, I kind of want to go over what exactly crowd control is, because I know a lot of people just don't understand exactly what I mean when I say that, and I know it confuses a lot of people, so let's go over exactly what crowd control is. Crowd control is an effect, so effect on the husks, that are intended to deflect an enemy from their objective. This limits active fighting in an encounter, so basically what I've mean is you're going to be using traps and um, effects from your heroes and stuff like that that are going to remove the husk's ability to fight or displace them so that they're going to be removed from their intended pathing or not going to be able to fight. So for example, um, examples of the stuns in this game and um, crowd control in this game are going to be knockbacks. So say a husk gets launched back from a laun uh, launcher, um, you're going to be deflecting them from their uh, intended goal with that wall launcher. You have a stun, so like the husk gets stunned, he's concussed there for a couple seconds. He's just gonna be stopped in place. You have a freeze, so they're just frozen in place. You have a dance with the sound walls where they can't hit anything, so they can't hit their objective. You have um, the stuck mechanic from the tar pit, and you have a bunch of stuff like that, like a slowing from our wooden floor spikes. And we're gonna be talking about which ones actually matter for the crowd control, because some of the, these crowd control methods actually don't count towards the counter we're going to be talking about. So why am I talking about this? Well, Epic made some relatively unintuitive changes, and I really want you guys to understand fully what to expect out of these. So these changes affect every single tunnel that you're going to be doing, and even damage traps have some crowd control effects. So we're going to be going over that. Let's see how it works now. So I like to think of the crowd control counter in this game as more like a point system. And I think that's going to help you guys understand it a little bit better. So husks undergoing crowd control get one point added to uh, their counter. And this is only from traps. From hero's ability, it's not going to be. All right. So they're going to get that one point added to their counter when an effect takes place. When they hit five points, so they've been hit by crowd control five times, they're immune to crowd control effects. So none of your traps are gonna work on them that uh, are supposed to crowd control them. None of your weapons that are supposed to crowd control are gonna work on them. None of your hero abilities, none of that stuff's gonna work on them anymore. They're just gonna be immune and they're gonna be unfazed by your crowd control, okay? Um, so that's, uh, that's in essence what the system is. Now, there's a couple caveats to this. However, if the crowd control counter is below five. So say we've stunned the, or we've launched them with a wall launcher three times, right? So one, two, three points the husk has. If 30 seconds passes, so a uh, husk just walks around for 30 seconds and you give them a really long pathing for 30 seconds, they're going to lose that counter. Just after 30 seconds, it's going to drop off, right? Because they haven't reached their counter of five. If they have reached their counter of five and become immune to uh, crowd control, it's going to take two full minutes before they become um, able to be crowd controlled again. So they'll have two minutes of full immunity to all your traps and stuff. Um, so a husk has to wander around for two minutes. Okay. So now let's talk about the traps that uh, important traps that do CC that don't actually account for this uh, particular change. So sound walls don't add a counter. I don't know why. Um, I think it's mainly due to uh, Epic seeing that propanes are a huge challenge in things like twine endurance and regular missions, and they don't feel as though that like the dance necessarily needs to um, be counted as a crowd control point. I have no idea, but that's just what I'm assuming. So sound walls don't count to it. But if the five uses of your uh, of your crowd control count have been reached. Uh, and the husks are immune, then sound walls won't work on husks. So weird little caveat there. And sound walls 
when they hit Miss Monsters, because Miss Monsters don't dance, uh, will apply a stun effect to them. So that will count as a crowd control use. Okay. And wooden floor spikes, right? Um, they slow down the husks, but it doesn't actually count as a crowd control in Epic's eyes. So those are going to work no matter what, even if you've reached the immunity. Uh, so you'll still get that slowing effect from wooden floor spikes. My rambling on sound walls and wall spikes has got me thinking that I should probably tell you guys about every single trap and whether it's a crowd control trap or not. So we're going to go over what traps are crowd control related. So the first traps that we're going to go over are the wall traps. And um, I'm going to tell you whether they're crowd control related or not crowd control related. So the first one we're going to be talking about is the wall dynamo. Um, wall dynamos are high burst damage and um, they have a stunning effect. So the stunning effect's not going to happen every time, right? There's a thing in the game called impact guard. So uh, uh, most traps deal um, impact, which is just a number that's going to be there. Um, but once that impact threshold on a husk is met, the stunning effect or the launching effect or whatever on that trap is going to take hold. So for wall dynamos, it's not going to stun them every single time, only when they break that impact threshold. So that would count as a uh, crowd control point. A wall launcher. This has high impact and basically every single time you're going to get that launching effect or sometimes you'll get the stunning effect once the impact guards broken on smashers. So pretty much every single time that's going to be a crowd control. Wall lights. Like I said, high impact, it's going to break that uh, threshold and it's going to stun the enemy. Broadsides, they're going to stun the enemy because there's a lot of the balls bouncing back and forth and those have high impact. So it's going to break those pretty much every single time, the crowd control barrier. Sound walls. Now, here's the deal about sound walls, right? And I went on this rant earlier. Um, sound walls hitting mist monsters will stun them because they're such high impact. But... When they're hitting regular husks, husky husks, riot shield husks, propane husks, that's not actually them getting impacted and stunned. That's them dancing, and that doesn't count towards the impact counter or the crowd control counter. So that's, um, it's like a twofold right there, right? Um, sound walls are and aren't considered CC. Wall darts aren't considered crowd control because they don't break your impact guard. And wall spikes aren't because the husks have to hit the wall and they're not stunned at all. They just hit the wall and take damage. Let's talk about the ceiling traps now. So ceiling zappers are similar to wall dynamos, right? Um, they're going to do high burst damage and they're going to have that impact based stun. Ceiling drop traps are another story. Ceiling drop traps have a stun and it's going to deal a lot of stuns, right? Those tires are going to keep bouncing, 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 breaking the impact guard. And sometimes you'll see them off of one ceiling drop trap bounce and move the husk like three or four times. Each time the husk staggers back a step, that's a, a crowd control point added. So these will ruin your crowd control count very, very quickly. So ceiling drop traps got the biggest nerf out of any of the traps. We have ceiling electric fields, which are not crowd control related. They don't break impact guards and stun the husks. Neither do ceiling gas traps. So um, both of those are not CC related. And you'll see that a lot of these not CC related traps um, will be super important. And we'll go over some tunnel designs later and ways you can utilize and get around this crowd control. Now let's talk about the floor traps. The floor launcher launches the husks up. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. That's going to be a crowd control measure um, every time that happens. It's pretty much going to every time the trap's going to go off, pretty much launch a husk and that's going to count towards a point. Um, it doesn't work on smashers, so it won't add it to their count, but every other husk pretty much. Retractable floor spikes. It's going to be similar to the wall dynamos, the ceiling zappers. If it breaks their impact threshold, it's going to stun them, but it doesn't happen every time. Floor freeze trap. This is going to freeze the husks pretty much every single time based off impact, but it's high impact. So it's basically going to be like every single time it's going to add a point to their crowd control counter. Flame grill traps, another one of those that's impact base, uh, but it has pretty low impact, so not every single time is going to be um, stunning them. And then tar pit, tar pit's not impact based, and every time they walk onto it, um, they're going to get stuck in it. Um, if they're immune, they're not going to get stuck in the tar pit, they're just going to walk past it, which uh, <laughs> is kind of funny that they're just 
have steel legs or something. I don't know. They just walk through the tar pit. But um, the only floor trap that doesn't, and I'm not including like healing traps or anti-airs, but the only uh, floor trap that doesn't um, count towards the crowd control counter is a wooden floor spike. And that actually applies, ironically, crowd control, uh, a slowing effect. So those are going to be super important too. And you'll see kind of like a general tunnel design that I'm going to give you guys where these are going to be super important. Ceiling gas traps, electric fields, wall darts, and sound walls are super important um, in builds. All right. So we're going to get on to a couple different amp designs and tunnel designs to give you guys ideas on how you guys can start building and taking into these uh, crowd control changes to the best of your ability. So let's start going over some of the more meta style trapping that you'll find in this from these crowd control changes. So it made a lot of changes where traps at the back half of your tunnels don't work as well if you have crowd control spread out through the entirety of your builds. So for regular missions, say the husks are down here, right? They're down here by this rock, these plants and stuff, and they're coming up this terrain. And their objective is the D amplifier. Now I'm not gonna say, um, per se, this is going to be like an endurance build or something. This is just going to be a general like ideas that you guys can look at. So one, you want to take advantage of gas traps, wooden floor spikes, ceiling electric fields. So let's get on to wooden floor spikes. Oh my God, there's a lot of traps, wooden floor spikes. And you want to take away, um, you want to take advantage of those types of traps, right? Uh, sound walls you want to take advantage of all because those don't add to the cc counter so you want those to be at the front of your tunnel right so for regular missions i suggest like maybe one or two sound walls at the beginning of your tunnels time to get, kind of take care of propanes so something like a mock tunnel i would see is like first maybe like tile of your tunnel you would have your ceiling gas trap you'd have like a maybe like a sound wall off to the side you would have your um like wooden floor spikes you would have uh, maybe like an opposite type of um sound wall roll or maybe you would have um a dynamo or something so let's put like a dynamo there right you would have the this kind of setup at the beginning um you would then once you've gotten the crowd control or once you've gotten all the propanes off the propane husks and you feel confident so in regular missions you don't need much because you're not focusing more on durability you're focusing more on like initial uh, propane husks. So you would get more into like, okay, now that we have this and we know that there's no crowd control uses, we can use a little bit of recycling in our tunnel. So we'd have something like our wall launchers. We could place one here and here, right? Because this would benefit from that because we haven't used all of our CC uses. So we're still going to get the wall launcher, wall launcher durability out of this. Um, and we'd use traps like wall darts, shooting across, so like a wall dart, a wall dart. You would still want to kind of use your um, wooden floor spikes along this. You can use freeze traps in specific locations, but I don't suggest using them along with wall launchers because you're kind of wasting the floor freeze trap then and your CC use because you're not getting the full damage value out of a floor freeze trap. So you would use something like a ceiling electric field because I've actually found that these bins, um, you're not actually staying very long under the ceiling gas trap. Uh, so I like a ceiling electric field at these types of bins. Or like, for example, like a ceiling zapper if it's like later in your tunnel or gas trap if you had these little floors. So you could have like something like a gas trap. Uh, so let's go find that. But then at the back half of your tunnel, you want to add either like the ceiling zapper broadsides and maybe like, maybe, right? Even this is a lot of crowd control. Um, you would add like a retractable floor spike or a tar pit um, if you feel as though they're confident in getting through. So you'd add like a retractable floor spike or flame floor grill trap if you, uh, depending on the mission uh, in the element. But you'd add like ceiling zappers in the back. So let's find a ceiling zapper. Uh, maybe like a broadside. And this isn't necessarily like do this every mission type thing right because i know this is a lot of resources but this is generally like what kind of traps are really good for the front of your tunnels versus the backs of your tunnels and then you uh another little style for the back is like always important having the wall dynamo wall dart combo right and say theoretically 
I have this. I have my ceiling zapper up top for maximum damage. I have my wall dart dynamos on the sides. So let's actually get the wall darts first. I have my wall darts on the side. I have my wall dynamos on the side, right? Just think how much damage is coming through this tunnel and then you'd have something like a retractable floor spike. Uh, just think how much damage is coming from this um, in the back half of your tunnel. And since you're not having crowd control uses, there's no point in trying to stun them or anything. So just as much damage in a square as possible. You can even alternate the reloads in your wall dynamos and your wall darts. So say like theoretically a husk passes through here, they all go off at once. The next husk comes through here and the reload times are different. So only one goes off and one wall dart goes off. And then the next husk comes through, through here and it's alternated timings stuff like that um you can start to think about right um so i find stuff like that is really really super crucial so like saving using the traps that don't use the crowd control initially in your tunnel is going to be a very very viable option um starting off and then you focus more on the crowd control portion in the middle of your tunnel like once you've got that initial burst damage you got in the propane off the propane huskies and then you focus more on the burst damage in the back like okay the smasher's gotten through that portion let's fuck them up type deal okay and then there's other things right like if you have a damaging portion so so let's go find some good terrain right say a husky is coming up this right here say their objective is this wood wall over here right and they're coming up this ramp um and say screw all that they can't get up that way so say you were to push them off with like a wall launcher right here um this would be really good um if when you push them off you have the damage out here at the front that they walk past like the non-cc damaging traps that they walk through here so like say like our wooden floor spike to slow them down um our gas trap uh maybe some ceiling electric fields going up so that they when they get up here towards this top of the strip they get pushed off and then walk around again. So those are some things to think about with the crowd control thing, because with this way, you're not necessarily stalling them, but you are using the terrain to your advantage to send them back through a killing tunnel where you're not gonna add any CC. So that's um kind of the style you guys need to be looking at in terms of um, using damage tunnels per se, is non-CC traps in the front, um, so like none of the damaging CC traps, um, I'd say your main crowd control traps in the middle and then at the back half, your crowd control traps that do damage, um, but they're not really going to go off because the crowd control uses are probably going to be used already. All right. So that's like the generic trap tunnel setup. I want you guys to kind of focus on and you can make this modular, right? Um, you can add more sound walls, more gas traps at the front you could add a little bit more of a recycling with wall launchers and stuff uh just in case um but that's the general type of trap setup and we'll look up another couple scenarios right and i'll take you guys through a couple of my like candy amps i'll take you through a twine amp um of different scenarios where you can use the crowd control to your advantage so we're gonna kind of look at a couple twine tunnels um this is a lot based off of nacho underscore sp's uh ridge amplifier so go check him out if you haven't already but we're gonna be looking at like kind of what i was talking about with the the traps um and how like the cc's taken into account into these types of builds so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this right we're gonna have our sound walls we're gonna have cc traps right here so these are the damaging cc traps these wall dynamos and we're also going to have ceiling drop traps which are damaging cc traps right so a lot of the uses are going to be taken up from these ceiling drop traps so as we get up farther and farther into the tunnel you'll see we still have these ceiling drop traps we'll have the sound walls and stuff like that and you'll see that we have floor freeze traps as well right and the dynamos still um you're not going to get much utilization out of something like these floor freeze traps and i know that um I'm not going to get much utilization out of them, um, but they're mainly for smashers, these floor freeze traps, because the ceiling drop trap shouldn't stun them five times by the time they get up here. Um, but you'll see that I don't really have any wall launchers or anything. It's a little bit modified from his build because I don't have any wall launchers or anything really uh, farther into the tunnel solely because the uses aren't going to be there for regular husks and the smashers aren't really going to get wall launchered into the next tile over unless you add the stagger walls but i don't really like that at the front of tunnels because of propane issues 
So you'll see that it's like, if you're using all your CC uses at the beginning of a tunnel like this, um, you should probably not have too many crowd and control measures in the back, right? And then that begs to the question of um, smashers, right? Um, smashers are way more resistant to crowd control because they have a higher impact guard. So you'll see that if a smasher makes it all the way to this portion of the tunnel, there are uh, cases in here for smashers, right? Now, this isn't going to work a lot of the time. Um, solely because um, it's still it's not an exact science um, building tunnels for this but you'll get like a timeout room like this right and this is one that nacho peer um, what's the word for it nacho popularized I should say it's a smasher timeout room where it infinitely stuns them right before the CC changes you could walk into here and a smasher would get stunned into this box and then he would recover but he'd have to walk around this half wall and then you get stuck again and go back in here this is really only going to work once right because this tar pit's going to take up um one of his cc uses the wall light's going to take up one he's going to end up in here he's going to come back tar pitted wall lighted and that's four right there so that's why I like something like this isn't going to be as effective unless they can get through the first part of your tunnel with like no cc traps um pretty effectively right so you'll see at this side of the tunnel there's less so of the the crowd control trapping um so that the smashers when they get through here can utilize this little timeout room type area all right and then we're gonna go take into another count because like i said in the earlier in the video husks that get hit um like uh with a cc trap and get points added to it take about 30 seconds for their points to be removed if they're not hit by any crowd control right so we're going to show you guys a little bit of how that can be utilized as well so we're going to go over here to what we're going to be calling b champ right and you'll see that the husk spawn back here right so one of the utilizations we have of that is we're going to have the husks walk right here walk right here right here right here they're going to drop down get slowed and they're going to get booped off by a wall launcher, right? And they're down here. So that's one point added to their CC count. So I found that actually a good measure of <laughs> husk speed, even though this sounds so dumb, is walking backwards um, as a regular constructor. But I mean, we're going to do it as a ninja anyway. But going back here, you can see how slow I'm walking, right? And um, we're walking backwards, walking backwards. So we're, we're acting like a husk right now. We're walking back, walking back. We have all this time, right? And more than 30 seconds is gonna pass, right? Cause they have to walk all the way over here, all the way up here. We add like a little bit of slowing to stall them out. Uh, here, here, here. And all of their actual CC uses are gonna drop off at 30 seconds. So by the time they get back all the way over to this point in the beach amplifier, to where they can be launched off again, they're able to be sent back down here again. So that's one of those things like um, that's super huge with um, those new changes or like if they have the five hit changes uh, where it's two minutes uh, where you can utilize terrain like this to make them walk really, really far. And this is one of those amps that benefits. And I think Vocaloid Nyon is the one who first showed off this type of um, blocking off right here for with the water here. And it's super, super useful, especially with these new changes, right? Because the husks are going to take way longer than 30 seconds to get all the way over there. All right. So that, those are some of the good ways you can change it. Now we'll go over to Canny and we'll look at some of my tunnels and uh, show you like kind of the way I explained it for missions, but in to endurance. So we're going to be looking at the Northwest amplifier on my Canny Valley endurance. Um, and this isn't meant as a tutorial and you guys will likely get this amplifier relatively soon, but you'll see that like in endurance, I don't necessarily have to use like wall launchers for CC anymore or anything like that. But um, I'm going to be using just, um, what is it called? Floor freeze traps is my main CC use. So we'll have sound walls lining the entirety of the tunnel. We'll have our floor freeze trap as our main CC trap. It's going to freeze them and the ceiling gas trap is going to actually do more damage because of the floor freeze trap. And you'll get like the slowing effect from the wooden floor spikes. You'll have non-CC traps all the way through here, right? And then when I'm confident that probably their CC uses have been up, so their crowd control uses have been up, right? We're going to move on to a damage portion of the tunnel, right? Where there's uh, the 
CC damage traps like wall dynamos, retractable floor spikes, uh, ceiling zappers type of combo. Now this is a bit overkill because I'm kind of making this for low durability players um, and not maybe the best power level players, but you'll see that the CC uses in here come from more so like our floor freeze traps and um, taking into account our damage traps and we want to make sure that the sound walls go off because um, if you have low durability for sound walls um, and you have a lot of recycling up front, you kind of have to have them dispersed throughout your tunnel. If you don't and they are all CC uses up to this point and the sound wall doesn't work on them, then you're just kind of screwed, right? And we'll look at like something else like... I think down here I have a good example of it. We'll have our wooden floor spike to slow them down. We'll have the uh, floor freeze trap to freeze them with a gas trap. We'll have wooden floor spikes, the sound wall, making sure that we get their propane off. Then we'll start our damaging parts of our tunnel. Right? And these will all do impact and contribute to the crowd control, but you don't necessarily need like the most uh, crazy recycling system in most of the tunnels because uh, you can get away with uh, your crowd control uses being on damaging and um, like you want to make sure your sound walls are effective throughout your tunnels. So that, that's some of the things like that that um, uh, we've been working on. And you'll see on like this side, right? Um, all of my crowd control is dedicated to the floor freeze traps uh, on my right side. So you'll see like the ceiling electric fields don't do crowd control. You'll see the sound wall uh, is lined up on here to make sure that they actually get hit by the sound wall. And then there's like dynamos that could potentially crowd control. So I wouldn't put any recycling back here because that'd be stupid to put a wall launcher here because by the time they get out of this tunnel, they're going to end up having all their crowd control uses done and they're going to be immune to traps. So those are some of the examples of exactly the crowd control uses I use and how I effectively use them. Um, and to give you guys some ideas, so you guys just don't spam wall launchers, wall lights, and uh, freeze traps all in the same type of tunnel usually i limit it to like one crowd control trap per tile space and um go from there so i do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like it please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to my channel um i hope this was really helpful genuinely i know not a lot of people understand the crowd control mechanic so i hope i bring it light anyways thank you guys very much peace